Hi, my name is Terry Horvath and I'm the sales assistant here at Ranger and today I'll be showing you a quick and fun technique using UD, otherwise known as ultra thick embossing enamel. And before we get started, there's a few quick things to remember when you're working with UD. Uh, first, you want to be working on a stable surface, a stable table, and you want to use a non-stick craft sheet, which is right here. And you want to keep pets and small children away as UD gets very hot when heated to temperature. So let's get started. So I've turned my pot on to the UD setting all the way to the right hand side and you'll see the green light is on and we'll let it warm up and get to temperature. And then you'll remove the lid and you're going to pour some of the ultra thick embossing enamel into the pot. and just let it heat up and melt. So when heating up the UD, keep in mind that you want to just let it sit there and heat and you don't want to stir it because you'll cause air bubbles in the UD. So once your UD is melted, you can remove the lid and you can apply uh, the heated ink into the pot couple drops is fine, don't need to... You're going to hear it bubble at this point, that's totally normal. Heated inks are transparent, heat safe, acid free colorizer additives that you can add to UD. And if you decide to add more to make your UD a deeper color, you can do that as well. I think we're going to add just a little bit more of the heated ink. Trying to get a deeper red here going. The heated inks come in two kit colors. They're in three packs. There's a Brilliant Gems, which is Garnet, Citrine, and Sapphire. And then there's the Organic Gems, which is Jade, Coral, and Turquoise. I happen to be using Garnet from the Brilliant Gems collection. So once you get the color that you like, you now can add ultra thick embossing enamel in the different colors that we offer in three ounce versions. This one is platinum. And you're just going to put little bits of it. Going to put a little bronze in here as well. And then some white. You want to go easy on the white because the more white you put, the more um, opaque it'll become. You'll lose that transparent effect. And then a little bit of black. A little bit more. Okay. Then you're going to give it a quick, just a gentle swirl. You're not going to mix this. Just a, a swirl will do and then you're going to pour it on your craft sheet mat and at that point you're going to add your heart cookie cutter and let it set So you're going to let your heart sit in the UD and you're going to let it harden. And to test to make sure it's hardened, you're going to take your spatula and just give it a quick tap. It's not making any indentations. And then it's cool to the touch. So then I'm just going to pop out my heart embellishment from the UD. So, there you have it. 
cute little heart embellishment for your layout, your card. And don't forget, your negative space can be used for a picture frame to put on a card or for a layout. There's a lot of options with UD. Enjoy!